Ladies and gentlemen, it's time now for a very special presentation. I'd like to call forward again Raylene Castle, Chief Executive Officer of Netball New Zealand. We, <coughs> excuse me, we have three very special events happening tonight. The first, as Laura has already alluded to, is um, Irene Van Dyke's 200th International Test Match. Um, I get the privilege of reading the citation, which uh, I will do now. New Zealand's silver ferns super shooter Irene Van Dyke has tonight continued to rewrite the record books when she secured her 200th International Test Cap here in Invercargill. Irene has now played a phenomenal 128 tests for the Silver Ferns, adding to the 72 she amassed for South Africa before she made New Zealand her home in 2000. In 2005, she became the world's most capped netballer, and her history-making endeavours are unlikely to ever be surpassed. Irene has an incredible international record, including playing at five world championships, two for South Africa and three for New Zealand. Sure hands, perfect positioning under the hoop, where she really shoots under 90%, are the hallmarks of this gifted player. Irene, tonight, all of New Zealand pays tribute to you for this remarkable achievement. 200 international test caps. Please join me to congratulate the incredible Irene van Dyke. we also are farewelling Dr Jude. Dr Jude is retiring tonight and Dr Jude has been with the Silver Ferns for as long as Ruth Aiken has, which is a little over 10 years. She's kept the team on the court, she's kept the Silver Ferns on the court and on many occasions she's kept the event staff on the court as we've called her at all hours of the day and night. She's very opinionated, including often giving Ruth a number of tips on what the selection should be for the next test match. She is truly an amazing asset. Um, we're very sorry to see her go, but we'd like to call her forward to thank her for all her efforts. Dr. Jode. please. Ruth Aiken. To remain the coach of a national team for 10 years is a rarity in any code, and in her decade at the helm of the Silver Ferns, Ruth recently surpassed the legendary coaching record of Dame Lois Muir by becoming the most capped netball coach in the world. After an exceptional 10 years in the spotlight, with the high-profile Silver Ferns and an ever-demanding public and media, Ruth's accomplishments speak volumes of her leadership skills and coaching credentials. A World Championship gold medal 2003 and back-to-back -back Commonwealth Games 2006 and 2010 are backed up by silver medals at the 2007 and 2011 World Championships and 2002 Commonwealth Games. An unrivalled record for a New Zealand netball coach and any New Zealand coach, to be honest. Ruth, your calm demeanour on the surface and your steely determination in the heat of battle have been pivotal to the team's fortunes. Your passion has been the Silver Ferns. It remains the Silver Ferns. Ruth, we are proud to be with you tonight. It was in 2002, here in Invercargill, you started your Silver Fern coaching career, winning your first test against Barbados, and so it seems only fitting that it is here tonight in Invercargill you have coached your last Silver Ferns game on home soil. Ruth, we congratulate you on your outstanding coaching career, and we are delighted that you will bring all of that experience into your Director of Coaching role with Netball New Zealand. Congratulations, Ruth. Congratulations, Ruth. 